Good morning, artists. Welcome to the studio. My name is Allison Jensen, and I am the owner of Orange Easel School of Art. Today, we're going to make slime. And I know that slime is hot right now uh, in the elementary schools, in the middle schools, in the high schools. Um, it's all over Instagram, and there are dedicated accounts to slime, and there's YouTube videos for slime. And so we thought... This is something we should probably get out of the way first thing this summer. So I'm going to be making some slime here, and I'm going to show you how to do it and the ingredients that you need. Understand that there are a lot of variations to the slime recipe, and we'll talk about some different add-ins that you can actually put in to make it a little bit different. Um, we're going to be using a borax recipe. Oh, wow, the, the uh, civil defense sirens are going off. They're testing them because it's Wednesday morning. Um, so we're going to be using the borax recipe. You can use it. Uh, there's also a, um, a recipe that uses liquid starch. Uh, maybe we'll do that one later this summer so you can see what that looks like. There's a, um, a puffy slime recipe that's been going around that uses actually saline solution and shaving cream. So maybe we'll do that one. But this one is a standard slime recipe using glue. So um, you can use white glue like this one. Or um, the one I'm actually going to use today, this is, a, this is a clear glue. We buy it in bulk. Um, it's got a bubble on the bottom. Whoop. Um, so we're using a clear glue today, and, and the slime that we make will be clear because of that. I'll show you. But um, So either one works just fine. Just a regular old Elmer's or washable glue. The nice thing about using it out of a bottle is this is perfectly portioned to four ounces, which is about the about the amount of slime that you need to make. And so one glue bottle is about the perfect uh, measurement for the slime recipe. You just unscrew the cap and just dump it into your container. So I've got mine portioned out because like I said, we buy it in a gallon jug. So I've got mine portioned out into a cup. All right, other ingredients that you'll need, you'll need some water. Now this is warm water. And again, mine is portioned out in the cup because I'm sitting here on the floor and I'm not near a sink. If you're doing this at home, you don't have to pre-portion, okay? If you've got a glue bottle, when you dump it into your container, you can refill the same blue, glue bottle with water because your portions are about one to one. Sound good? So we got warm water, glue, and then the borax, which is this stuff right here. It's found in the laundry aisle. So you go um, to the grocery store or Target or Walmart, um, and it's in the laundry aisle, and you're looking for borax. Now, borax is... A, it's a chemical, it's caustic stuff, so we want to be really safe with it. We're only going to use a teeny, tiny, little bit. I don't know if you can see in my souffle cup. This is half of a teaspoon. Teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of borax um, that I portioned out in my cup. Great big box, a little bit of borax. You don't need much at all. And we're going to dilute that in water. Ready for this? Let's do it. I'll show you how. All right, so we start with our glue. And I'm using a clear cup because you all can see it. After we get to the mixing thing, I'll put it in the, big, in the big bucket when we actually get in there with our hands. But I've got a clear cup here. If you're doing this at home, you can use a, a mixing bowl or um, whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to take my water. I'm going to add it to my glue. And I'm not going to add all of it. I want to reserve a little bit so that I've doubled it in size. So this is a one-to-one -one ratio, right? Glue to water. One-to-one. -one. So if you use one bottle of glue, you're going to use one bottle of water. And then you just stir it up until it's all mixed in together. And you want to do this before we add the borax. Notice we haven't added borax. If we add borax while we're adding, um, we're, while we're trying to get the water incorporated, it all congeals and it slimes in together, and then it doesn't, it doesn't actually, um, it doesn't actually get incorporated into the right consistency. Hi guys. Hi, how's it going? Good. How are you? Not too bad. What That's can I do good. for you? Well, um, I just heard about this place over the weekend, and I was just kind of curious. Uh, I think her name is Nancy, my neighbor. Yeah, uh, Miss Nancy, she yeah. teaches for us in the mornings. Yeah. So, um, yep, we've got all sorts of different classes for different age groups. Uh -huh. um, so for his age, we've got a story time art class that runs Monday, Tuesdays, and Friday mornings. Uh -huh. um, I think there's an art in the afternoon one. Our Wednesday art camp is going on now, and then we have drop-ins on Saturdays and birthday parties and all sorts of stuff. Oh, so, cool. yeah, cool. and most of our classes are registration only. Uh -huh. So you'll go onto the website, and then you can register for the classes okay. and, and come on in. We'd love to have you. Great, that would uh, be awesome. So just the orange easel. Orange easel art. You grab a business card right there, and it's <laughs> got it on it. And yeah, that would be great. How old are you, buddy? Yeah. How old? I, I said, uh, I, I am two. 
as you say, you're not two. You're three. Okay. I was guessing four. I was off. He's, Very he's, cool. He's, kinda, he's big. <laughs> great. And yeah, that, I have a, and you do through high school, don't you? We do. Yep. Yeah, we've got our older kids in here as well. Right, yes, we great. do. Well, awesome. All righty. You. you betcha. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Say bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna take this glue mixture here, it's, it's, it's perfectly stirred together, and this is when we're gonna add the borax. We're gonna dissolve it into our little bit of reserved water that we have left. So that goes in here. A Little bit of reserved water, and then we're gonna stir it around until our borax is mixed in. Now these two go together. Before I do that, and at this moment, before we put the borax in this glue and water mixture, we want to get any add-ins. So let's talk add-ins, right? Today, in my add-in, I'm going to add in glitter. I've got two different types of glitter. I have a really fine white glitter that I got at uh, Michael's, and then I've got a blue glitter um, as well, and it just makes this really pretty kind of wintry slime mix. So, um, so we're going to add that in here. The other things you can add in it is coloring. So if you're using the white glue especially, it would be a great time to add your coloring. Just like when we were talking about the chalk paint, you can use either the food coloring or you can use the liquid washable watercolors. Whatever you've got on hand to go ahead and color this, you would do that now. I'm going to leave mine so it's kind of clear because I think it's fun. Um, and now I'm going to move into my bucket. I'm going to tip my camera down so you can see this come together because it comes together kind of quickly. All right, so this is why I'm on the floor today, actually, is because I couldn't get my camera high enough on my desk. So I like to do this in a bigger container. I, if this cup was a little bit bigger, I could just pour these together and stir them. But I feel like the stirring action doesn't really get it going. Um, I need to get my hands into it and do some squishing. Um, and so that's why I use a bowl. And we'll talk about um, how to clean that bowl when we're done. So if you're using mom's mixing bowl, it will come clean. Don't worry. The glue is a little tricky as it kind of congeals to the side of it, but I have a trick to get it off. I'm going to help you out. Anything you use in mom's kitchen, you're going to get cleaned up for her, right? That's, that's kind of the rule if you're doing some fun artsy science stuff. You've got to get it cleaned for her. Okay, so this is the glue and water mixture. If you're following along, all I did was sprinkle in some glitters. This is my borax mixture. In to the bowl it goes. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, right, either the replay or you're watching the, uh, the live video, right, and it's got the comment bar on it, and it's like you can't see what's going on down here because it's got the comment bar, if you swipe, it should go away. Didn't know if you knew that trick. All right, so here's my glue and water and glitter mixture. In goes the borax. And then you can use a spoon if you want to. I'm going to use my hands. And I'm going to get this all mixed together. Now, the more you mix it, the more you mix it and the more you knead it, the more kind of congealed it's going to get. So it does come together. It's kind of like um, when you knead, a, oh gosh, what? Like a biscuit dough, right? So if you're making biscuits, you ever make biscuits from scratch? You're making biscuit dough and it sticks to your hands a lot at first, but the more you work it, the less it sticks to your hands. Um, it kind of all comes together. That is the same thing that happens with this slime. All right? This, this is really good for our elementary school kiddos. You guys can follow a recipe. You can do this. Um, moms out there, if you are worried about the borax, go ahead and pre-dilute it for them and portion it out you know, in the water already. And so that all they have to do is dump it into their glue mixture and, um, and, do, the, and do the mixing part. Isn't that fun? I'll get it up close to the camera here in just a second so you can really see what it looks like, right? Let's see. Up to the camera. That's our slime. And it squishes. See, it's still kind of stuck to my fingers, but the more that I work with it, it sticks to itself more than it sticks to my fingers, and so it becomes less sticky and more flubbery. Oh kind of soothing to play with. So this is what it looks like with the clear glue. With the white glue, it would be opaque and it would be colored um, if you had colored it. If you didn't color it, it would just be white. Um, I've seen some people, as far as add-ins go, put in um, beanbag filler and that makes it 
kind of puffy, not puffy, like popcorn-y, right? So then you've got um, just a, a very different texture than um, the, just the slimy, glitter, gluey stuff. And as far as what you do with this, this, this is about it. You do <laughs> and, and that's all you really need. Um, so I hope that you have fun making some slime today. Again, just to review, the only ingredients you're going to need, some sort of washable glue, whether it's um, white glue or clear glue, and then your water and your borax. And that is it. We will talk really quick about cleanup, right? So this stuff, let me put this down. Oh, real quick. This has to go into something airtight. So I like to keep it in a Ziploc bag. And when it starts to get funky, throw it away and make some new, okay? Usually for us here in the studio with as many hands that touch it, we throw it away about every three or four days. Um, but at, this, at home, I would say, you know, two weeks max and then pitch it and get some new stuff made. Um, if, it, if it ends up on the floor, our rule is if it ends up on the floor, it goes in the garbage because it picks up, you know, dust and dirt and grime and stuff. So throw that in there. I'll come back to that. This right here, this is glue. It's congealed to the bottom of my um, wash bucket, which at the art studio, like, we're cool with that. If you're at home and you have used mom's mixing bowl for this, please clean it for her. Get it really wet. Let it sit for just a little bit. And then my trick to get it clean, you want a brush. So some sort of brush with like pokey bristles. It could be a paintbrush even with that has pokey bristles. And that helps get it scraped off the bottom. And if we get this going, you see it kind of rolls up into a ball and falls off. Um, that'll save you from having to, like, it feels like it never comes off if you just use a dish rag. So a brush is my trick. You can use this. You can use a cleaning brush. You can use a paintbrush. You can use a dish brush. But, um, but definitely something with kind of a wiry bristle is going to help you to get that clean um, so that mom lets you make slime again. Sound good? All right, tomorrow we're going to talk about tangle patterns. So we're going to do some drawing with thin Sharpie markers and some patterns and some really fun intricate um, kind of zen drawing. So hope you join us for that. Oh, I told you yesterday I had good news. I do. I do. We have added a fourth session of Glitter Fest. Everyone on the wait list got an email yesterday so that they could get um, registered if they wanted that spot. It is Friday, June 30th. So it's coming up really fast. It's going to be on the website here. Oh, give me till about 5 o'clock. I'll get it up on the website with a button for everyone to register if you want to join us for Glitter Fest, which you know you do. So get it here for Glitter Fest. Um, we're, going to, we're going to leave that registration open until a week from today. So next week, Wednesday, it doesn't matter if it's full or not. We're shutting it down because um, we have to get the t-shirts ordered or we won't have them. <laughs> so, so we have to get, um, we have to get everyone registered and everyone's t-shirts ordered by next Wednesday. And, um, and that's, of course, assuming it doesn't fill up. So we've only got 16 spaces in Glitterfest. I think I checked this morning and we're down to 12. So if that, that Friday, June 30th works for you and you would like to join us, um, check back on our website at www.orangeeselart.com. Uh, and again, by 5 o'clock tonight, I will get it up there under Glitter Fest, under Summer Art, so that you can get registered for that fourth and final session. We won't add another one until next summer. So We want to see you there. I think that's it. Um, i got to go help with camp. We're doing a bunch of Impressionist art, and we're actually going to take a field trip and walk down to the historic square and have our, have our lunch out there and do some in-plane-air art. So, hope everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday, and I hope to see you in the studio soon.